श्री श्री रास विहारिणी जू की जय हो श्री हरि राय जी की जय हो डे एटीन ऑफ रज किशोरी सेवा ट्रस्ट रीडिंग्स ऑफ बड़े शिक्षा पत्र टुडे इज लेटर फोर पत्र चार एंड वर्स यस डे एटीन ऑफ द रीडिंग्स and in letter 4 it is verse 17 to 22 inclusive subvaishnava kaje shri krishna verse 17 whether one practices or not whether one's nature is pure or impure by surrendering and taking refuge in shri krishna one without one will without a doubt be blessed with the full fruit of devotion some embodied souls make no spiritual practices and some make many Some jeevas are pure and of good character free of lust anger greed pride and envy while others are impure and full of such faults some castes demigods human beings brahmins of priestly caste warriors tradesmen laborers lowly workers animals birds and all manner of embodied souls take shelter in shitakti and without a doubt they attain the fruits of devotion taking refuge in shri krishna is the supreme devotional practice when an embodied soul attains the state of shelter All of his needs for righteous practice is fulfilled. One may make many practices, but if they do not lead to this state of surrender, they will never be fruitful. Taking shelter in the Lord is the main is the perfection of divine reward. This is positively the main principle of the path of grace. Verse 18. In the path of devotion, the means as well as the reward are both established by this surrender. If all other dharmas or parts of righteousness are abandoned, this independent devotional reward can be realized. Tika 18 In this path of devotion the practice is surrendered to Sri Krishna and the reward of such practice is to be fully surrendered to him the practice and the reward are not separate in fact to practice is the reward so taking soul refuge in Sri Krishna is the fruit of such surrender Sri Krishna has stated in the Shrimad Bhagavad Gita renounce all other forms of religion and just surrender to me alone Sri Gosai ji has written a commentary on this verse in which he has described this mood of surrender to be superior if an embodied soul places complete and unshakable faith in Sri Krishna alone all their religious duties are fulfilled of which the most important reward is having Sri Krishna as your sole refuge knowing this surrender verse 19 <clears throat> In times when Sri Krishna is not directly manifesting this condition of total surrender can be achieved through the association of great souls when these great devotees shower their blessings through them you will become accomplished Tika 19 When Sri Krishna is directly manifest this condition of total surrender is easily perfected when he is not directly manifested it can be achieved through Sri Mahaprabhu ji Sri Vallabhacharya ji When Sri Acharya ji is not manifest the nature of total surrender can be perfected through his nectarian writings when Sri Krishna is not actually present surrender him surrender to him is natural sorry when Sri Krishna is actually present surrender to him is natural but when he is not taking shelter in him should be pondered upon in the company of accomplished devotees निवेदनम तु स्मर्तव्यम सर्वथा तादृशे जनैहि This is the way of the path of grace when you are directly serving your lord you are taking refuge in him and at all other times you should meet with other devotees and think of him by the grace of accomplished devotees your shelter will be perfected in this way you are fully surrendered both in the time of union with the lord and in the time of separation from him when you are making service to your lord you take shelter in union with him through touching his feet and offering tulsi leaves at his feet this is direct shelter mm-hmm. and taking shelter with your innermost heart and consciousness is achieved through the company of accomplished devotees verse 20 when such great souls are not before you contemplate on their nectarian teachings having faith and established yourself in the path they have illuminated and thus your soulful refuge will be perfected tika 20 In the previous verse surrender in union and in separation are described both are achieved through taking shelter in Shiva Labhacharya ji if he is not directly 
before you, then learn by meeting with his devotees and discussing his nectarian teachings and treatises. Sri Acharyaji has established this path of grace, and if you are situated within this path, then your surrender to Krishna will be perfected. If Sri Krishna is not directly present, then see here he is represented by Sri Acharyaji, Sri Gosaiji, and their lineage. If these are not present, ponder their teachings, listen to and discuss the sacred writings, and thus, if you take your place in this path of grace and contemplate this refuge in the Lord, then it will surely become the nature of your heart. Verse 21. How can a soul attached to worldly things who always keeps bad company and turns his face from the Lord through impure food, infatuation and pride, find a place in this path of grace? Tika 21. The previous verse describes surrender in union and surrender to Sri Achari Juiwan in separation, how to take refuge in the nectarian words of his teachings and how to contemplate one surrender in the company of great devotees situated in a path of grace. However, by keeping bad company, all of this can disappear in one single moment, for worldly oriented souls are always impure and impurity can arise by association with them. You should never associate closely with souls attached to worldly things. How to recognise if a soul is worldly and turned away from the Lord? Such such souls are always intoxicated in body, mind and wealth by worldly sense gratifying matters and are constantly involved in such dealings. They are not interested in a spiritual life because they are proud and egotistically self-centred. This path of grace can never find a place in their heart and it is dangerous to associate with them because you can fall from this path. So forget their company. Instead, Realise the mood of surrender by associating with accomplished devotees. Verse 22. To become thus spiritually accomplished, resort to the shelter of Sri Mahaprabhuji's lotus feet. Tika 22. If one has never had the chance to associate with members of Sri Vallabhacharya's lineage or with accomplished devotees or has no fondness for devotional literature, then what to do? The answer is to renounce the company of non-devotees and to do as much service as possible whilst taking faithful shelter in Sri Vallabhacharya's Meditate intently and constantly on his lotus feet and then your heart's desire for this change will surely be fulfilled. For Sri Acharyaji is the embodiment of sacred fire, and so if you f- approach him for shelter and take refuge at his feet, then your efforts will definitely be blessed with success. And here at the end of verse uh, Tika 22, we'll take rest until tomorrow's reading, which will be day 19 and verse 23 and 24 of letter 4. Aj ke anand ki jeho. Shri Acharya Ji Ki Jeho Sub Vaishnava Uncle Jain Shri Krishna Shri Shri Ras Vihari Ju Vijayati Arjkenand Ki Jeho